All right, so we've only done this exercise a little bit. You can already see that Schnapps is more comfortable going in the kennel, especially with me being right here. So Schnapps is very treat motivated, which really helps in this endeavor. <laughs> so in the first video, oh. we talked about going all the way up to two hours with the door open. The next stage is we're gonna repeat that whole process, except for we can move a little bit faster because at this point the dog shouldn't be hesitant to go in there. Uh, and then what we do is after we get up to five minutes of the dog staying in the kennel uh, with the door open, then when we go to six minutes, once the dog, uh, once we've done five minutes, the next time the dog lays down the kennel, we're gonna close the door to the kennel. I'm not gonna do it here because it would spook yeah. the dog. But I'm gonna, I'm gonna close it without latching it. And then I, wait oh. for, then I wait for the dog to lay down and then we wait until we get to six minutes for that one. And then go by one minute increments all the way up to 15 minutes again. So this way the door is closed, it's not just not latched. Once we get up to uh, about 15 minutes, and sometimes this will vary. Sometimes it might be 15 minutes, sometimes you keep on practicing until you get to a half an hour. But we want to practice in the kennel with the door closed. Once you get up to about 15 minutes or half an hour, then we want to start actually latching it as well. And we'll wait for him to be completely calm and laying down before we let him out, before we go out to exit him. Next step is, uh, and we're going to go all the way up to two hours for this stage, with the door latched, but people are in here. And nobody is disappearing. He gets to watch them the whole time. He didn't even get out before that one came. Um, the next stage is we're going to repeat the whole process, but this time once we get up to about five or ten minutes, we're, uh, well, about, probably about ten minutes, with the door latched. Then you're going to go sit down. As soon as he lays down, I want you to get up, walk around the corner here, just so you're out of his line of sight for one second. Then turn around, come back, sit down on your couch. If he stayed laying down, then you keep the timer going. If he got up, then we'll wait for him to lay down again, and then we go to whatever interval we're at. And he's got to stay that, laying down, or not, you know, at this point, he doesn't have the ability to come out. Now, if he starts pawing at it or crying, we went too long. So back up a step and keep the timer not going quite as long. We want him to practice being in there without any dust-ups, without any uh, scratching or whining or drooling or any of that stuff. So if he starts doing that, then we move too fast. Back up a step or two, help him practice that one, keep practicing that one until he's comfortable with that. So at this stage, we're just going around the corner, at first for one second, and then your partner does it for one second. The next time you do it for three seconds, your partner three seconds, you're mirroring. Mm -hmm. Five seconds, then I usually go by five second inch, five, 10, 15, 20, 40, 60. And you're, you're gonna play around with the iteration until you find one where he's comfortable with. Um, there we go, we'll do one like that. Um, at that point, the dog is getting comfortable with being in the kennel with you here. He knows you're here, you're just around the mm -hmm. corner, you're out of sight, and we gradually ramp up the amount of time. Once we get up to the point where we can get up to about a half an hour, where we can actually leave the room and be gone for longer than five minutes, then we're gonna reset the exercise, and this time we're actually gonna start leaving through the garage door, which is where you guys normally leave. There you go. And so when you, first time you go to the garage, it's the same thing. You go out, wait for him to be laying down first, get up, go out, close the, open and close oh. the door to the garage, oh. and then come back inside oh. and sit down, wait for him to lay down, repeat the same thing we went over earlier in the video. Next time you go out, you go out for five seconds, then for 10 seconds. Once you've gotten up to the point where you can go in the, in the garage for a minute, a couple of minutes without him freaking out, the next stage is to actually start recreating the elements that are gonna come with it opening the, and closing the, the door to the car, opening and closing the garage door. So do one and practice each one. So first we're just opening and closing the, garage, the door to the car till he's able to facilitate that or handle that. Then when we do that, then we open, do that and open the garage door. Next one time we do that and then we do that and we start the car. And so each time it gets more and more realistic, we're adding more of those uh, characteristics to it. We have to keep practicing each one until he's comfortable and he no longer reacts to it. If he's reacting, we push too far too fast. What we want to do is eventually get to the point where we can leave and be gone, you know, for gradual longer and longer periods of time. And again, once we get to the two hour limit, he should be over this for good. Now, I was telling uh, the Guardians, one of the things I do is I have, uh, it's a, a D-Link, D-L-I-N-K. I have a home security system, uh, not system, but monitor. So I can watch, almost like a baby monitor, watch and hear my dog. So I would suggest putting one of those up. You can get them on Groupon for about 85 bucks or about 100 bucks. You can watch them on your phone or your computer. Put it up somewhere and point it at the cam, at the deal, so when you, uh, at the kennel. So when you actually go outside and you're in the car and you're waiting for five minutes, you can watch your dog on the screen. If your dog starts pounding at the window and crying or whining, then you know we moved too far and we need to back up a little bit. But the end goal is for him to practice being in there so calm and comfortably that he doesn't react anymore 
when you're here and then when you're gone temporarily and then when you're gone for longer periods of time, then when it actually seems like you are leaving and then when you actually do leave. And at that point, he's just completely comfortable and calm and confident being in the kennel by himself. So that's uh, how we get our dog over uh, fear of the kennel and help with separation anxiety.